Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Uh, today it is a brisk 25 degrees out here in southern Illinois and um, we're going to get out in the garden here and do a little bit of cleanup. Um, I shared this on our Instagram um, the other day. If you guys aren't um, following the Instagram, be sure to, to follow below. We'll have a link there. Um, but uh, we're going to start doing some cleanup. It's uh, 25 degrees. It's not spring, uh, but itching to get out there. So what we're going to be doing is taking care of some ornamental grasses and cutting them back. So we have those ornamental grasses that uh, we're going to be cutting back today. I've got a couple of methods that I use that work well for me and uh, I wanted to share both of them with you guys. Uh, so let's go take a look. So guys I got two different methods that I like to use um, to cut these guys back um, or to trim them back. Um, one being DeWalt hedge trimmer. This guy makes quick work. Um, of these you just cut them down right at the base and um, You know it just It's a breeze some people would like to use like the manual hedge trimmers and uh, It uh, it gets you know very labor-intensive. So if you got the battery power, why not? Uh, why not use it? So um, What you'll want to do and I unfortunately won't be able to show this to you today, but uh, because I can't find my twine but if you have some jute twine you can tie these up um, put you know two or three layers along the top um, of the plant cut them off at the base and then all of the grass is going to stay uh, together and uh, you know not get all over the place it's going to be easy to to get rid of either put it in uh, say a compost bin or um, take it to your your landscape recycling center uh, whichever works best for you and uh, then it's just much 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 easier to handle so let's uh let's go ahead and cut these guys down So guys, as you can see, it's a little bit messier without uh, that twine on there, but the uh, the DeWalt made uh, quick work of that, and we were able to, to cut right through. Let's take a look. We're going to cut down this one on the other side of the tree here using the same method, and then I've got um, another method that I use that, uh, that works well, and... Um, We'll kind of go through that and I'll kind of tell you the benefits of it. So we got them cut back now. Um, took care of both of these that are on each side of the tree. And there's a reason why I did that. Um, so let's take a look. So you can see when you're when you're cutting them down with the, the hedge trimmer, you're you're kind of left with that stump um, that uh, that is left over. And your new plant will grow fine um, all the way up through that. But another method that is much easier maybe a little dangerous but if you do it right and you're and you're safe about it um, it works out well um, is to burn them uh, so these are really really dry you know they've been uh, dormant or dead uh, through this um, this whole season so they're really dry and they're gonna burn really well the thing that I like about burning them is one it gets rid of your yard waste which 
obviously that's a good one but it burns the plant all the way down to the ground so much like you've seen folks that will take their say zoysia or different types of grass warm season grass usually and they'll burn it and scalp it all the way down to the ground what it's going to do is it's going to burn this all the way down to the ground and it's going to allow that new plant to come up much cleaner, much lusher, and just have a much healthier plant, in my opinion, from what I have seen. So um, we'll, what we can do over the season is take a look at these two. So the one on each side of the tree here, um, you know, we cut down and the other ones we burnt down so we can take a look at them later on in the season and see, you know, how they how they look. So let's take um, the uh, as I call it the clicker and uh, burn these other ones and we'll come back to you
All right, guys, so you can see they're still burning behind us, but uh, we'll let these burn all the way down to the ground and um, you know, give a, a, a good soaking with some water on, on top of them just to make sure everything is out for safety. Um, but um, then they'll be burnt all the way down to the ground and um, then they'll come back new and, and lush and, and fresh um, with no, um, you know, nothing disturbing any of that, uh, that new growth. Um, and I found that this works really well. Now, probably not a good application to use, you know, if you have your ornamentals in a, in a very, uh, uh thickly planted area, because it could harm the other plants and that type of stuff. But for a more open area like we have here, um, it works, uh, really, really well. And I've had really good luck with it. So what we'll do is, uh, I'll get my rake here and, and rake things up and, and clean things up. Um, but just wanted to share this quick video with you guys and kind of show you two different ways of, of taking care of cutting back the ornamental plants. Um, if you guys have another method or you've had luck with this, be sure to leave us a comment below and, and let's, uh, let's hear what your method was and, and what you've had good luck with over the years. Um, if this was something you were searching for and, and you came across it and you appreciate the, the content, be sure to give us a like. Um, we'd love it if you guys subscribed for more content here in the, in the garden and out in the lawn. Um, but until next time, guys, thank you so much. Bye-bye.